Hey guys, gonna do a video on oil change on the 2020 Super Duty. Uh, this is the first oil change that I'm doing on this particular truck. I used to have a six liter and uh, I would use R12 products. A uh, lot of information on the internet regarding R12 fiction modifier for the oil and the diesel treatment for the fuel and uh, cleaner. My uh, truck uh, has 75,000 kilometers. Um, I bought the truck used, so it already had some miles on it. Uh, I went and bought an oil filter from Ford and that with taxes was 74.89 Canadian. I had to get the guy to check it three times. So I thought 75 bucks for an oil filter. There's the bill. But really, what is a standard oil, oil filter was, was crazy. Uh, yeah, that's, that's your $75 oil filter. So the oil I'm gonna use is really more the severe duty oil, the 100% synthetic, uh, 540. Bought it at Walmart on sale for $55 five liter jug it's uh the 1030 is conventional oil non-synthetic obviously a lot cheaper so that's what uh i'm gonna put in the truck the oil filter this modifier goes in the oil that is you know over 250 dollars so pretty expensive oil change but with a diesel, it is what it is. And the fuel treatment, I'm going to add that in after. Um, it's just a system cleaner from our trial. So there are lots of videos out with how to do an oil change. Not really going to get into that. But I swear by this Arch Oil Fiction modifier. It's called the AR9100. I really noticed the difference for my 6 liter, 2006. Uh, I don't think, I don't know what, if I'm going to notice such a difference on this truck adding this stuff. It was, it was really night and day because the 2006 six liter had 300,000 kilometers on it. And as soon as I started using this, well, it was actually around 240 when I started using it, but it was quieter, increased mileage started easier anyway lots of good stuff really believer in this this stuff um so that's why i wanted to do this video I'm gonna use it on the new truck and i think it'll help for that well i noticed such a big difference don't know i'll let you know if i do so i'm gonna get to it and do the change Okay guys, I just got the truck warming up. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, watched on the uh, few videos where they use a bucket to capture all the oil. Um, with a stock truck is what I have. It doesn't fit under the cross members. So what I did was cut the ring off here and uh, it fits. So it just makes it, so if you have a stock uh, truck stock tires these are KO2's with the stock size and no lift kit you cut the bucket it'll fit so I did that and then I looked at my bucket and I got a big crack in it so check that first so I got another bucket this one looks pretty good so we'll give this one give this one a whirl you can see how cutting the bucket down just fits under the oil pan and uh, it'll just clear that cross member. And the, all the oil will fit in the, the bucket. And then I use the other pan just to drain the oil filter 
that's the messy, messiest part of the whole job is the oil filter removing that. And the other thing on the oil filter, you just want to check that the rubber gasket uh, didn't stick on the truck. Mine, it didn't, so I was able to remove the filter and it stayed on the filter. But it was just hand tight. The um, dealership did the last oil change and uh, they just put it on hand tight. Again, this is, you know, you want to check the gasket didn't get uh, left behind. Because if you screw on the new filter, uh, it'll just leak on you. Here we are, just, you can see, just cleared. I could have cut the bucket down more, but I wanted to leave the, the handle so I could carry the oil around uh, without uh, any hassle. That's why I cut it where, where I cut it. Could have went a little bit lower, but that's uh, why I cut it there, is just so I could uh, didn't lose the, the handle. Here you can see on the cap, tells you what oil you can use. I opted for the 540, and uh, I always put the friction modifier in before I put the oil in. So I shake it up and then just pour it in. And uh, also I usually charge my oil filter as well, just pour oil, the oil, regular oil into it. And that's it, easy to put in. And the 16 ounces is for 13 quarts of, uh, or 13 liters of oil. So just the one of those for each oil change and you're done. And then just reset the odometer is pretty intuitive. You just go into <clears throat> truck and go through the menu there and reset your oil filter and you're good. Until the next one. Thanks for watching.